One of the main things in the book is something that's near and dear to my own heart, and that is how colleges and beyond, but especially the university system and now the younger school systems too, want to control our language. They want to control what comes out of our mouths. It's well beyond political correctness. And today, I don't, we have, I should have counted them. We've got maybe three, four stories in the news about people getting canceled because they didn't submit, Jesse. They would not submit. Here's one. Um, This is out of Kellogg, Idaho. Student barred from graduation ceremony after stating there are only two genders. So this kid, um, his name is Travis Lohr, 18 years old, was not allowed to walk through his own graduation after he departed from pre-approved remarks during an assembly speech offering advice for underclassmen. What he said was, quote, Guys are guys and girls are girls. There is no in-between. So kicked out, can't walk in graduation. Uh, And then on top of that, this this is the real rub. He says a job offer that he had to fight fires for the Forest Service out there in Idaho was rescinded, was rescinded. This is just disgusting. And this is, this is the point of your book, that it's all part of the plan. Language has to be controlled. That's a piece of the, the left's approach to managing all these controversial issues. It's how the communists have done it forever, Megan. And it's, it's wild when you see the parallels, which I do a lot in the book of history, like the Bolsheviks and the Chinese and how it, how it directly connects to what they do today. They build these language fences around us. And they're always closing in so to, to censor what you can and can't say. And they're always changing. It's, it's crazy when you le- uh, read some of the historical stories and things like that I put in there of people who were, th- they would say something that, that was approved language at the time, approved by everyone. You know, the communists said, this is okay, this is the language you use. And then to keep people on their toes and as a method of really control and power more than anything else, they will wake up one day and decide that that language is no longer acceptable. And then they'll go back to you using language that was acceptable at the time. And they'll say, why were you using unacceptable language? Off to the gulag to you. Men becoming women and women becoming men, that was not even a thing like 15 minutes ago. It seriously wasn't even a thing in 2010. I, I understand trannies existed then, but it was very rare. It's not something you talked about. It certainly wasn't something that dominated the news. Now, your doctor will tell you that men can become women. The, 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 the latest Supreme Court justice basically said the same thing. Oh, I don't, I don't know what a woman is. Kid gets denied a job fighting fires and walking in his graduation because he wouldn't say the newest thing that just came around five minutes ago. And I've tried to explain this to people. I actually explain it in the book. That the people look at all this training nonsense now, all this madness with kids mutilating themselves and stuff, and they think... Man, this is so crazy. This is so evil and crazy. Gosh, these guys, they've reached the end of the road. And I'm trying to explain to everybody, there is no end of the road. This, the, All this transsexual stuff, this will be yesterday's news five years from now. There'll be something new and worse because they, mm-hmm. they never stop because they can't stop. It's an endless path of destruction. Let's, as Lenin said, revolution without end. The revolution can never stop. This reminds me of when I was, um, I don't know, a sophomore at Syracuse University back in the olden days. Um, I referred to, I said, oh, he's a black author. And, she, and the professor stopped me and said, it's African-American now. <laughs> I believe you need to refer to black people as African-American. So I was like, oh, okay. I, I didn't know. Whatever. Fine. This African-American author. And then, and now you look at it today, a lot of people find that term offensive and we're back to black, but it has to be capitalized, but you don't capitalize the W and white. Okay, whatever. Who the hell can keep up? Let me give you another one Um, via Fox News. A University of Cincinnati student is now speaking out after her professor allegedly failed her, failed her, Jesse, for using the term biological women. Olivia Krolsik says her gender studies teacher gave her a zero on her essay proposal about transgender athletes competing in women's sports because in the proposal, she used the term biological women. The response from the professor reads as follows, quote, Olivia, this is a solid proposal. However, the terms biological women are exclusionary and are not allowed in this course as they further reinforce heteronormativity Please reassess your topic and edit it to focus on women's rights, not just females. And I will regrade. Women's rights, not just females. You must accept 
that in the women category are the trans people, which therefore undermines the entire thesis that this University of Cincinnati student was trying to take a look at. This is what scares me about where we're going, Megan, is what have we just talked about in the last five minutes, the people who are proclaiming this new insanity to be real? That's a university professor. It's not just University of Cincinnati, by the way, as everyone's seen. This is Columbia Law. This is Stanford. This is Harvard. These So, OK, so we have a Supreme Court justice. We have professors. We have the president of the United States of America, one of the two major parties and half of the other low T loser GOP party will admit to th that this is something you can do. You can just change the gender you were born with. It's not that we have nutters in our society. Every society has nutters. That's that's that's, that's the way the human beings are. It's that our nutters run our society. It, it's become institutionalized. Mm -hmm. Your doctor in the future shoot probably now, but in the future for sure, will not be allowed to practice medicine or graduate medical school unless your doctor asserts that the 12-year-old boy can cut his penis off and become a woman. That is so beyond absurd. But again, it's not some nut job on the street corner out in front of my studio, Megan, screaming at the, at the sky that men can become women. These are the leaders of our institutions and our society. It shows how far gone we are and how crazy it really is. Mm -hmm. It's really disturbing. I'll give you just a couple of examples because we, we like to stay on top of the news on this stuff. Uh, out of Canada, they've really lost their minds. Student arrested at a Catholic school after saying there are two genders. Josh Alexander was suspended this past November over comments he made saying there are two genders. He was told he could not return to class unless he recanted that position. He decided to return anyway to get the education he was paying for at this Catholic school, and they had him arrested and charged with trespassing. That, I mean, that's, it's too much. It's too much. And lest you think it couldn't happen in America, in Massachusetts, uh, boy sees setback. This is a, a headline from the Daily Mail. Boy sees setback in free speech lawsuit against school over two genders a shirt. A Boston judge ruled that 12-year-old Liam Morrison cannot wear a shirt that reads, there are only two genders, while the case over the garment is still being decided. Thank God for the Alliance Defending Freedom. They filed suit on his behalf after he was denied the right to wear the shirt at all at school. Thank God there are warriors like Alliance Defending Freedom. I'm telling you, like if I wanted to hang back out my legal, my law shingle, I'd go join these guys and help them in these battles. They got another one. There's a professor who refused to say the preferred pronouns in his class. And a lawsuit was filed against him, as I recall, or, or either way, he was challenged and threatened with his livelihood for refusing to go along with it. And more and more, Jesse, we're seeing state laws that say in the workplace setting, you basically have to use the preferred pronouns. You have to, or it creates hostile work environment. And even if there's not a law in the light of the Supreme Court decision that Gorsuch joined, that you know, the, the Trump appointee joined, uh, Bostock, they saying you can't discriminate against trans people in hiring. They can make a claim now that if you don't use their preferred pronouns in the workplace setting, you have violated the law. They've been sneaking all these things into statutes and judge-made law and so on for years now. Their whole goal was to stay under the radar while they captured society. And now we're starting to see all the results of it. The two scariest things they're taking over and maybe have taken already, Megan, are the medical profession and the legal profession. Did you know that there is one phase of sleep that almost everyone fails to get enough of? And this one phase of sleep is responsible for most of your body's daily rejuvenation, repair, controlling hunger, and weight loss hormones, not to mention boosting energy. I am talking about deep sleep. Why don't most people get enough of this one most important phase of sleep? A big reason is magnesium deficiency. It's real. And over 80% of the population is deficient in magnesium. Now, before you go out and buy some rando magnesium supplement, it is important to understand that most products out there only have one to two forms of magnesium, when the reality is your body needs all seven forms of this essential sleep mineral. That is where magnesium breakthrough comes in. Magnesium Breakthrough contains all seven forms of magnesium designed to help calm your mind, help you fall asleep, stay asleep, that's tough, and wake up feeling refreshed. Visit magbreakthrough.com slash Megan Kelly to order now. magbreakthrough.com slash Megan Kelly. In addition to the discount uh, that you'll get by using the promo code Megan10, 
There are always amazing gifts with purchase. You're going to love shopping at Buy Optimizers. Go now to magbreakthrough.com slash Megan Kelly to get your magnesium breakthrough and find out this month's gift with purchase. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.